the topic I'm going to cover now is to show how badly written PL SQL code can make your database wide open to attack. If your programmers don't know what they're doing, it may be very simple for outsiders to make SQL injections into your database and bypass all your normal security. So I'll begin by setting up the account within which I'm going to write my code. And I'm going to use the Scott demonstration schema that I'm sure we are all familiar with. So I'll begin by granting user Scott all privileges. Scott is my programmer, and he's going to write some pretty dangerous code. This is the procedure I'm going to create. The purpose of this procedure is to let an end user choose a table and a column and see the data in a browser. But I want to restrict him so that the user can only see the contents of the Scott schema. So my procedure is called scott.print. It takes two parameters, tab for the table name, col for the column name. So the user will provide the table name and column name that he wants to print out in his browser. Here, I'm constructing a select statement. Select the column from scott.table and e execute it with execute immediate. Then because this is a web application, I'm going to print out the results to the browser using http.print. Note that the way this statement is constructed, I've hard coded the schema. It's meant to be impossible for anyone to use this procedure to get to data in any other procedure. So compile the code. My end user is going to be a low privileged user, a nice low privileged user. So I'll create a user called apps, identified by apps. And I'll grant him absolute minimum privileges needed to run my application. I'll grant him create session, and I'll grant him execute on the print procedure that I just created. So all user apps can do is log on and run that procedure, and all that procedure can do is print columns from tables in the Scott schema. To web enable the application, I'll need to create a HTTP listening point, which I'll do with dbms xdb dot set HTTP, HTTP port to port 8000. And then I'll create a database access descriptor, a DAD. And the DAD is going to map all my URLs to the root directory of the file system. Now, let's see how the application is meant to be used and then how it can be hacked. 